If you're a business owner and you're wanting to implement AI into your business, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Vapi account. I'm going to be covering how to connect to Twilio, how to set up an assistant, what voices to use for your assistant, and all of that. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to vapi.ai. If you already have an account, log in. If you don't, click dashboard and it's going to prompt you to create an account. But because we already have an account, we're just going to click dashboard and it's immediately going to log us in. Once we're logged in, what we're going to do is go to platform. We're going to go to assistance. We're going to create an assistant. The assistant is going to be labeled whatever you want it, but we're just going to label it test assistant number one. And then you're able to choose from any of these templates, but we're just going to go with a blank template. So we're able to set everything up by ourselves. Okay. Now we have a uh, test assistant number one, but before we create the whole entire prompts and all of that, we're going to go to transcriber. Um, and we're going to go and choose DeepGram. If you choose any other transcriber, it's a bit slower as you're able to see DeepGram's the fastest and you're able to choose what it transcribes into English, Australian English, any th different types of dialects and different types of languages. And then for voices, we are going to use play HT because it's the most realistic voice. And then we are going to choose a female voice. And then we're going to choose what play HT model we're going to use. And then we're going to go with 3.0 mini and then keep on scrolling. If you want some background noise, you're able to have it on or off. We're going to have it off filler injections. We're going to keep them off back handling enabled, make the bot say, yeah, or yeah, sure. Stuff like that in the background and the person's talking, just acknowledging that they're talking. We can turn that on background denoising enabled filter background noise while the user is talking. We're able to do that too. And then it's able to adjust the speed and all the temperatures over here. It really depends on what you want. And we're able to select any type of emotion happy, sad, angry. We're going to just keep the female at happy. Let's go to functions and then we're going to enable and call functions so the AI can hang up the call whenever it needs to. Dial keypad, you're able to have it on or off. It allows the assistant to dial stuff on the keypad so it can transfer the call if that's how you have your phone number set up. If you want it transferring a call, you're able to just put in your phone number over here just like that. End of call phrases, have a nice one. Or we could also put God bless. I would say that's the best end of call phrase. Just be super sincere at the end. Custom function. We don't need to do that right now. Advanced. If you're in the medical industry, you're able to be HIPAA compliant just by toggling this. But we're not in the medical industry, so we don't need to be HIPAA compliant. And then this over here is how long the AI waits to respond. It could be a second or it could be half a second. You're able to customize it up to five seconds. And then we're going to keep everything here the same. And then scrolling down over here is the number of words the person on the other side can say until the AI understands to stop talking. We're just going to keep it at one. Voice seconds is how long the customer has to speak before the AI stops talking. We're going to keep it as low as possible. Back off seconds is just how long the AI waits for the person to stop talking until the AI will start talking again. We're just going to keep this at default. Silence timeout. This just means call if the person stops responding. We're going to keep that at the lowest 10 seconds, but this is meant to be able to customize for different types of calls, for collecting credit card information, all of that. That's the point of this customization over here. Maximum duration of a call. We can put up the seconds of the calls up to 43,200 seconds, but we don't need to do that. We're just going to keep it around a thousand seconds. This really depends on where you're implementing this in your company. Scrolling down. This is how you're able to connect an HTTP request. And then you're able to connect your server URL like make.com over here. So it can make post calls directly with this agent voicemail message. If you want one, if you don't, it can immediately hang up the call. It can say, hey, this is blah, blah, blah from this company. Uh, do you want to talk later or stuff like that? But if you don't want it to do that, it doesn't have to do that. Max idle message, three words, idle timeout, 7.5 seconds, and then publish that. And then if you want an analysis for every single call that goes through, you're able to type in here, whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically it. Now let's go back to model. First message is going to be, hello, this is Sarah. And then the model that we're going to use from ChatGPT is going to be for 4.0 mini cluster, just because it's the same price as 3.5 and it's better. And then let's create the script. Let's go to ChatGPT real quick. And then we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a sales script for a coaching company.
And then we're going to say this is an inbound script. And here's the entire inbound script. We can basically come over here and paste this over here. And boom, we have a script. Of course, there's going to be some customizations that we need to put in here. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this. That's basically how you create an assistant. Very simple. Then phone numbers, another very simple thing. Just come over here, go to Twilio, import your SID and auth token. Let me just show you how to do that. Once you're in Twilio and you logged in, scroll down, copy your account SID and auth token and paste your account SID over here, auth token and the number you want to use here. Label the phone number if you want to label that. And then just click import and it'll import your Twilio number. Same thing with Vonage, API key, API secret key, label it and then make sure to put in the phone number you want to import. Once you do that, come here to files. Now, if you want the AI having a knowledge base, all you have to do is go to your downloads, drag and drop over here, click upload file, and boom, now you have a knowledge base. And then we can connect that knowledge base with our assistant. Very simple. And then click publish. And that's basically how you create your knowledge base. Now, let's go to tools. If you want to have a custom tool, you're able to connect it to make.com, go high level, or a custom server like NA10. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. All you have to do is put in the server URL over here or your Go High Level server URL. And then now it can send tool calls directly to Go High Level or make.com. Next is Vapi Block. And basically what you're going to do is come here, add test one assistant, create workflow. And then we are able to customize how the AI communicates. Very simple. Basically have a conversation and then enable a tool call. I have a video explaining how to do this exactly. You're basically able to control how the conversation happens without the AI going off the rails. The last thing that we're going to do is go to Vapi Squads. And this is a very simple way on how to create different agents that specialize in different type of stuff. Like an agent that specializes in selling and then an agent that specializes in onboarding the client. So basically what you're able to do over here is connect one agent to another agent. And basically once that person's done talking with this agent, you're able to have the AI transfer the call to this agent over here that can onboard them. Uh, that's another very simple thing that you're able to do. And yeah, that's basically how you're able to set up your whole entire Vapi account very quickly. If you want to see how to set up your knowledge base or set up blocks or set up squads, I'm going to link those videos down below so you're able to watch those more in depth. Now, if you need any help or have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you want to be caught up with the latest AI news, feel free to join my Telegram or sign up for my newsletter. And if you want to implement voice AI into your business, feel free to book a call at Zampana.com.